I know this is gonna work first time. Welcome everybody to another stream. Tell me, tell me it's working. No technical difficulties. I know it. I just heard myself. I just heard myself on the stream, so I know it's working. Is the volume good? You can't hear me. That's bullshit. Just a little quiet. Is that better? <laughs> hey, everybody. It's good to see you all. Bunch of you in here already. Bunch of you in here already. Hey Got my everybody. own stream paused here. It's good to see you all. Bunch of you in here already. <laughs> my glasses are muted. <laughs> uh, let me see. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll turn up the volume just a little bit more even. There you go. That should be better. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? Good to talk to you all. Got a few things we're gonna do today. Uh, first, I'm gonna get my I'm gonna get my ass beat. I'm gonna we're gonna f to start off the stream today. We're gonna jump into Forgotten Gods and we're gonna check out a new feature. Um, I don't know that is this uh, Zentai. Is this feature a part of the update or a part of the expansion pack? I can't remember. But we're gonna check out a new feature, um, which is that you can start the game on ultimate mode uh, once you finish. You get a token to start characters on ultimate mode, and we're gonna give that a try out. <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be brutal. I'm gonna start with a level one character, and we're gonna play ultimate from le well level two, I guess. I'll level up one so that I can use the the uh, attribute points that I get from completing the game. <laughs> Sound is still low. Turn up your volume, man. Could be that my mic volume is a little bit low. For some reason, that interferes with the stream volume. Is that better? How was the music sound? Let's let's just freaking crank this shit up right here. How, how was the music sound? Was that was that loud loud enough? Sweet. All right, good to go. Why does my camera keep freaking out? Oh, it's because of the brightness behind me, isn't it? It gets darker when I move my head. We might have fixed that. I'm gonna go draw the shades real quick. I'll be right back. There, now we won't have it flickering in and out every time I leave my head off the camera. Sweet. <coughs> How's everybody doing? Bad Wolf is here. Burnsy. Cathonic Sonic. That's pretty pretty funny, Cathonic Sonic, because I worked for Sega for a bit. <laughs> my camera looks like dirt today. What's going on with my stuff? It's been a long time since I streamed. Oh, you guys want to listen to some more music real quick while, while we're just chatting and getting started up here? Let's Let's listen to another song. The last one was pretty sweet. We'll play this in the background here. It's probably gonna be too loud. It's probably gonna be louder than my voice. Did we already get spoilers for how to obtain the set transmute mats? Sinful duck, what's going on, sinful duck? Man, I got, my lighting is freaking terrible today. It's like super bright if I lean over here. Yeah, whatever. You don't, need, you don't need lighting to see my pretty face anyway. You didn't miss anything, Z. <laughs> you haven't missed anything. We just, we're just getting started. Um, I'm just trying to figure out my stuff again because it's been so long since I streamed. What's up? Oprah Star. Be cool if that was the real Oprah. Dicky Dick, how's it going, man? So like I was saying, what, first thing we're gonna do today is, um, I have no idea what's wrong with my character's face right there on that screen. What's going on? Oh, it's just because I had the game paused in the background. What we're gonna do is we're gonna, first we're gonna delete this guy, ultimate loser. And uh, we're gonna create a new character called ultimate loser. <laughs> and we're gonna start out, I'll just, <laughs> I'll just show you how this kind of works. I'll give myself the, the, the item and uh, we'll unlock ultimate mode and we'll start from level one, level two on ultimate mode with no gear. We're gonna, we're gonna do it raw. We're doing ultimate mode from the beginning of the game, raw. And then we'll get in, later on I've got some stuff I'm gonna do for spoilers. Um, I'm gonna check out uh, uh, some of the new skills for the Oathkeeper. I always wanna say Oathbreaker for some reason. My brain wants to say Oathbreaker. We'll check out some of the new skills from, from the Oathkeeper. Uh, and uh, uh, I might actually end the stream by doing some level work. I'm working on, I started working on a level er, er, yesterday, I guess. 
Um, that's actually like a little secret area that maybe you might find or you might not find, or if I let you see me make it, it might drive you crazy trying to find it. So uh, we might actually go work on that. Yeah, level 1 to 100 rush today. I'm going to play for the next 27 hours. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yes, you know, we might do a little world building stream later, but first we're gonna we're gonna play some ultimate and watch me get wrecked. I got two different songs going right now. I got the game. No, I don't have a game in there. Any thought for some custom maps? Any consideration for a multiplayer tournament concept? Um Bernsey, that I mean that would be really cool. The problem with doing multiplayer stuff is that you know we we don't have secure servers. It's not the game is not designed from the ground up to be a multiplayer game, it's a single player game. So if we did anything like a multiplayer tournament thing, it would be insecure. People would cheat. People would be in there with like the best gear and, and maybe even worse than that, just like straight up cheated characters. Um, so that would probably be bad, even though it sounds like an awesome concept. Does picking the Oathkeeper Mastery make you a dwarf? <laughs> no. <laughs> Charles Bronson. Wait, why Charles Bronson? I mean, Charles Bronson was kind of badass, but why? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Some of you asked a, a question about lore notes. Lore notes are the same in all the difficulties. Uh, there are some in the secret press and things like that. Cozy has no teeth. What's up? Who's new here? I want to. I want to see some. Uh, I want to see some shoutouts for people. That, shoutouts? Did I say shoutouts? Oh my god! I kind of hate myself right now. I want to see the people who are new here chime in and talk because I know there's there's like there's like almost 300 of you here right now. Grava fight Grava at Crate Entertainment. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Petition to turn the music off to lower the volume. Is the volume on the music too loud? See, nobody said anything about that. You gotta, just got to let me know. I'll crank it down a little bit. It's so weird because I have no feedback for how the output, what the output of volume is going to be like. But anyway, let's turn it off. Forso TV, thank you, man. Welcome. Paranoid Pyro. Paranoid. Paranoid Den... Par paranoid Den... Paradon Denley Pro. <laughs> I can never read anybody's names. What's up, Scatterson? Sathala Maven. Nice, welcome. Yes, it is hard to to type with the kitty in your lap. You grab my username. That's a good one. I like that. Uh, new to the streams here, but I have 200 plus, 2,000 plus hours played in game. Yeah, w welcome to the club. There's a few, th few of you guys here. Um, any updates on PvP? Uh, Demolisher War, I, uh, like I was saying before, the game, we don't have secure service for the game. So this is a question that comes up all the time. It's not really a game that's made for multiplayer from the ground up. So PvP is a little bit risky. Anytime you play PvP, you're going to get people are cheating. <laughs> All right, let's move on from that. No more talking about PvP. Maybe sometime in the future. Who knows? You never know. You never know what the next thing holds for, for us. Uh, uh, but we're going to start. Do I have to? Does this guy have to be named Charles Bronson? What's up, Mad Lee? Mad D Lee? Mad One Lee? Darky Live? What's up? Hello, welcome. <coughs> Apogee? Ap Ap <coughs> Steve John Steele. That's awesome. I right, just have to does, do Poopsicle One. <laughs> do I have a character in here called Poopsicle One right now? I do. <laughs> uh, I should have I should have checked to see if I had any inappropriate names. Charles. Okay. All right. I like that. Charles Bronson from Dead Death Wish. Nobody's gonna know what that is, but we'll we'll we'll, we'll name we'll name the character Charles Bronson. Is it B R O N S O N Bronson? Is that what it is? Charles Bronson. He was kind of like cool for a minute, right? What's up, Josh Balls? 
Josh Balls. I don't know if you knew that, but Josh is my name, like my real world name. All right. I'm going to start this out. I'm going to give myself – we're going to have to cheat just a little. I mean, we're not going to cheat our character. We're going to start from level two, um, but we're going to cheat a little bit to give ourselves the item as if we had finished the game previously on ultimate or on elite mode. Okay? So forgive me. All right, cool. So now I get this item. Boom. And if I pop this item, you have access to ultimate difficulty. Did you see the – is that intentional? Should the, should, should the exclamation point actually be wobbling like that? <laughs> well, cheating, cheating for devs is easy because we have the dev console. We'll just type in all of our little cheats and we get, get going. But uh, we're not actually going to cheat. We're going to – we're going to um, – we are going to cheat. We're going to give ourselves one level because then I can use attribute points and unlock uh, skills and crap like that so I can actually have a character as if I had beat the game previously. So we're going to actually do that. We're going to do it in a way that might actually be feasible. Uh, and we're going to go back out to the menu. We're going to set the difficulty to ultimate. We're going to start back up on ultimate, and this is going to be bad. <laughs> um, crying, uh, Dietrich Crying, do I have the price that the Forgotten Gods expansion will cost? No, I do not. But I mean, I think you can, you can assume it will be commensurate with the first expansion pack, maybe even a little lower. I think Xantai has talked about in the past. Uh, Mad Lee, I don't actually play the game almost ever. I mean, if you look at my Steam, I probably have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours in the game, but, but like 90% of those are going to be testing and working on the game. Um, the truth is that almost none of us play the game ever. The only time we ever end up playing the game is when we're, when we're running through content that we've created to test it and make sure that it doesn't suck. <laughs> <laughs> which is which is the reason why you don't get your releases when you want them because we run through it and and something sucks and we fix and we spend the time to fix it. Um, but man, it's we've talked about this in the past, but it's really uncommon for devs to play their games a lot, other than development, because, well, I mean, I guess it just makes sense, right? I'm gonna do Oathkeeper. Should I do Oathkeeper? We probably should, right? Mauricius, I think that might be a spoiler. Uh, Mauricius, are you a tester, dude? Because that might be a sp that might be a spoiler that people don't know about. <laughs> uh, freaky Ido uh, idi uh, freaky idiota. Uh, uh, yes, the so Forgotten Gods is a new expansion, uh, new story chapter. It doesn't work like uh, uh, the first expansion did, where you have to finish the whole game in order to play the expansion. Um, you only have to finish up to a certain part and the sort of the first campaign there towards the warden um, to unlock this. And then you can kind of take – it's kind of like a divergent path from the other ones. It it uh, has its own unique story that's tied to everything else but that you can finish before you finish the game even the first time. Uh, so you can jump right in there your, on your first playthrough after a couple hours of getting up to the, the warden and whatnot and then go straight into this new expansion, expansion content. So, I mean, and if you've beat the game, you can play it at any time. Game looks very nice. Thanks, Gums. Uh, yeah. Uh, so let's do Oathkeeper. Um, mm. I mean, I feel like uh, – I mean, we're just, here, what's it going? we're just going to dump them into stats for now just to keep us alive. Um, that's going to be a little bit boring for a second, but physique. Oh, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's a spoiler for you. Oh, it doesn't say though, does it? Aw. Well, good spoiler for you is that uh, uh, cunning and spirit now give you health. <laughs> <laughs> I 
There you go. There you go. That's my that, what the fuck OP. <laughs> well, I mean, I think that uh, uh, Zantai did that to try to make it so that those builds that rely on those more are a little more. So it's, you know, everyone always rags on me. I got to put all your points into physique, but that's kind of lame, right? So now you don't necessarily have to. Not as much as physique. Physique is really where it's at if you want to max that, but uh, uh, you do get a, bo a bonus moment now. So. Uh, Hargate style, anything uh, on having something on the sea, coast, lake, in uh, where there are ships that the character could travel via boat. Burnsy, that's actually pretty cool, traveling somewhere being via boat, but uh, um, I don't know, not not as of yet. I like that idea. I love when we do that in the main game. I love when we, when we do a lot of boat travel. I'm going to put everything in physique right now just because I need most health. I'm, I'm going to get wrecked. I mean, so for anybody who doesn't know what we're doing here, I'm playing ultimate on level one. So I'm going to get completely wrecked the, the moment I step out of, out of town. Um, but we'll give it a try. First, we're going to get some volume in the game. I'm like shaking. I need to, I need to put a jacket on. Guys, give me a shout when you think the game volume is decent compared to my voice here. There you go. Xanda says the attribute ge uh, change gives a typical endgame caster about... Oh my god, I have sweat stain on my armpit. Look at that. That's gross. <laughs> uh, ultimate is... Uh, pardon me. Is gives the endgame caster about 12 to 16% health. <coughs> Uh, Burnsy, I do have lots of gaming experience, but I'm not, uh, I'm not a, uh, this may sound stupid considering that I work on Grim Dawn, but I'm not, I'm not a hardcore. You're not looking too bad. The bodies of the, you will uh, need. I mean, I've, I've played almost all of the great ones, like th hundreds of hours, if not close to thousands of hours, but I'm not like hardcore grognard about, uh, <laughs> uh, theory crafting and all that kind of stuff. I play mostly for the fun of it, so I play attention to the story. Oh my god. Oh, okay. You know what, dudes? Come here. Shoot, shoot these guys. <laughs> At least they don't do any damage. Is the game... How could the game sound be way too loud? Okay, let me finish this guy. That's crazy. I can't even kill the freaking... I, I think these guys are like under level too. Dude, I already I don't have any skill points right now. <laughs> I should I should have grabbed a couple skills, but I put I put them all in stats. Uh, I can't believe the game sounds too loud. It's, it'd be really nice if there's some way to get some feedback on what. What's my PC volume right now? My headphone volume. Maybe that's a good way to tell. Oh, sweet. The volume slider's not showing up. Awesome. That's cute. All right, well, I can't tell. So, you're going to have to tell me if the game left launch too loud. It's super quiet for me. You can't hear me. Is that better? That's not a bad idea, actually. <coughs> oh, I can't get in yet, can I? Son of a bee. <laughs> you can't hear my glasses. Dude. <laughs> Are the sound effects still way too loud? Grab it, grab it through the wall. Wait, what? What are you talking about? Is there some sort of crazy stat that I don't know? What are you talking about? 
grab what through the wall? Dude, you have to tell me about this. Uh Wait, grab what through the wall? What are you talking about? What's the... Is there some sort of... <laughs> I want to know what this... I want to know what this... 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 Stat... This strat is here. What, you, what the hell are you talking about? Near... Bridge to the wall. See that? See that's not helpful. Near bridge to the wall. Go to the burn area and, and rotate the camera. All right, here we go. Get me down here. That's not the burn area. What are you talking about? Like on the bridge. There's a note in the prison, and if we get the note, but I don't know where it is. I never, <laughs> I've never, I've never done this thing before. I don't know what you're fucking talking about. <laughs> oh, it's right there. <laughs> oh, I had no idea what you're talking about. Somebody said talk to Sadina. I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, that did do Jack. <laughs> that's not, that's not enough. Not enough. I never rotate the camera either. Now, now I'm now I'm gonna be all freaking cattywampus. Xantai's <laughs> nerfing, nerfing that floor note. Oh my god. Oh my god. My, I'm gonna have to kite all these bad guys back to the. Wow, starting it. This is kind of. This is kind of this is like a new kind of punishment. I should have played hardcore, dude. Well, at least I leveled up. Are we getting a ton of XP from these guys or what? No, not really. <coughs> this, this is gonna be rough. Like, can I just cut all these guys back here and, and sort of. Come on back here. Are they going to go far enough? Dude, I didn't know about this note thing either, so believe me. I don't I don't pay attention to speedrunners. They're like a whole... They're like a... If speedrunners are from an alien planet. I mean, I have all the respect in the world for speedrunners. Speed but I just... I could not imagine myself thinking about a game like Crypto in that way. Like... <laughs> Uh, Congo, this uh, the reason I'm starting in Ultimate Level 1 is because this is a new feature of the game. If you have beat the game previously on uh, uh, Ultimate or whatever, you, or on Elite, you can start Level 1 uh, on Ultimate on any character um, by, by giving yourself that item. So I figured I'd give it a try. <laughs> something on the bridge. You guys are, you guys are, you guys are, uh, all these strats, man. Equip this piece of wood. It's better than the previous piece of wood that I had. But I guess this piece of wood is also better than the previous piece of wood I was carrying. Let me see what's left of my wares. <laughs> I don't have enough iron. <laughs> oh my god, I can't even buy one health potion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <coughs> Is the sound still too loud for you guys? Because I haven't, I freaking cranked it down. Before I get going again here, tell me if the sound's too loud.
We're not going to jump into Forgotten Gods. There he is. No, we're not. But if you stick around when we get too tired of, of watching me not die, but painfully whack guys in level one ultimate, uh, we'll probably do some, some, some development stream. We're going to look at the Oathkeeper skills. I got a cool test level set up with like a million dummies for us to murder with all the Oathkeeper skills. And then maybe we'll do a little bit of level development stream. 90% of what are, are ready at this point? Santai talking about levels in the new areas? <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. If you guys complain enough, I'll, I'll, I'll move on to that stuff. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll, maybe we'll end up with this instead. <coughs> What is it? Dude, I love, I love how, I love how having unassigned skill points totally <laughs> freaking triggers everybody in the stream. All right, what are we doing first? I mean, I guess we're gonna have to do righteous fervor, right? Because that's gonna give us. Um, Agents of Manor is gonna. I mean, what's gonna? This is Forgotten Gods. The new mastery coming to Forgotten Gods. Yes, this is the Oathkeeper. This is the new mastery coming to Forgotten Gods. And in a minute or two, um, if we find this just too brutally boring for, for us, a dev stream, we're going to um, jump out and just try all these abilities. <laughs> what about a sarcasm filter to, s to filter out all Zentai's sass? <laughs> I don't think... I don't think you can, uh, you know what, I'm going to put it into Aegis. We'll do Aegis. Why not? You know what? Why not? Next, next, next one we'll do, uh, because Aegis is fun. Next one we'll do, uh, the, uh, main attack. Oh, that's not bad. Okay. Now I can actually sort of kill zombies. I need to get the bounce, though. Did that not hurt him at all? Oh, no. It's hard to remember that the refresh of this skill is actually really, really, really short. Level up, level four. I only kill like the first four enemies in the game. <sighs> Man, I guess we should break everything at this point, because this is like a so this is like Playing this on hardcore mode would be like a survival game version of of uh, Grim Dawn. <laughs> like, like, you would just take it like you super careful with your aggro, like aggro one enemy at a time. I don't know how you could possibly do that later on, but yeah, this is the Captain America skill. I guess. Although throwing shields is not especially unique to Captain America. But it's awesome nonetheless. I'm gonna level up again before I can kill these guys. <laughs> yes, Forgotten Gods is not postponed. It's not delayed. It's not. We haven't changed the date. We don't share the dates that we're shooting for because we don't want to be that developer that tells you the game is coming out on X day and then, oh, uh, it doesn't come out until six months later. That's. Yes, we don't want to do that. We don't. We don't share our release dates. Um, we always have release dates and or release time frames that we're shooting for, um, but we don't tell tell them to anybody until we're ready, <laughs> until we're sure that that's going to be the release date. And the only thing that would change that is if something external happened, like if there was a Steam issue. Or something. I guarantee you that the, the X pack is coming out on a day. Coming up on the anniversary of, of uh, Grim Dawn anyway, right? That's a uh, big time. This is, this is super, like, this makes me want to play a survival game version of Grim Dawn. <laughs> it'll be a it'll be a day that ends in Y. Um, it will likely be a day that was named after a Norse god. Um, 
All but one of them was named after a Norse god, right? Is it, is it, uh, no, is it Sunday? That's not named Monday. Monday, maybe it's Monday that's not, no, Monday's moon day, right? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It'll likely be, it'll likely be a day that was named after a Norse god. I think all but one of the days was named after Norse gods. Where the hell did those ten people go? Man, okay. You know what? I don't like losing viewers. We're going down. Oh, no, we're go now we're going back up. <laughs> Whoever just got here, you stay. I don't want you people leaving. It just went from like three, 369 to 359. So if you just got here, you freaking stay. This may look boring for the moment because honestly, kind of because it kind of kind of is boring to watching me throttle throttle my way through playing the game on the absolute most difficult setting possible. <laughs> Lavorious, you have to stay. Level four ultimate. Yes, for anybody got got here, this is actually a thing you, you can do now in the game. You can. Oh my God! I, did I level up again? Did. Do I put more more skill more points into any of the or do I probably should do that? When does the bounce come into it? I can't remember when you get the when you get the, the bounce in the shape, but that's it's critical for this. It's like my only only thing doing any damage right now would be level up again, didn't I? Totally doable, Dan. Uh, Zantai, this is not difficult enough. You make it more difficult. Level one ultimate is like doable. You need to make this not doable. All right, let's see. Let's see. I don't remember. I don't remember when the bounce comes into it. Mm. Oh, I guess we're already there. So we can drop a couple points in there. And we'll drop a couple points in this because we're going to use it as our main attack. One more in that, get a little more damage out of it. All right. My God, the chat's going crazy. 360. That's better. See, I don't want I don't want anybody leaving. Everybody, everybody who comes stays. Hide gloves. It's better than the wood crap I'm carrying around now, right? No, I don't have anything. I've got nothing. I don't even have enough gold to buy a single health potion. Sino? I know where you hang out. I've seen you on the Grim Dawn forums. You leave, I'm coming after you on there. Oh, 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 get in there. Get in there. Oh, we got some stuff we can use, make ourselves so we can kill things. Like, you know, relatively quickly. Yeah, there we go. We're getting there. We're speeding up now. Green Rain. What's up, Green Rain? Nice. See, the ricochet is where it's at. Oh, I only hit one target. Chance to ricochet? I thought it was guaranteed. There's nice. And now we're doing it. Now we're cranking. do to get, get to get 400 and use 100 in here. I know, I know there's more Grim Dawn fans out there that are just sitting around going, what do I do today? You gotta, get, you gotta come hang out with us. That's what you gotta do. Freaking game. <laughs> Next expansion on cell phones. We were thinking about putting the, the next version of the game on the end gauge, though. <laughs> Mauritius, you just told me what? Man, I can't watch the chat. You told me something in chat and didn't, like, send me a private message that I'm not. Or, or, or at least send a message directly to me. 
Oh, some of them are, are streaming GD right now. What, what's wrong with these people? <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Don't worry. We're not, we're not making a mobile game. <laughs> I'm just screwing with you. <laughs> oh my god, this is where I'm going to get it. This is where I'm going to get my shit headed. Wall. I level up again just from that. Come on. <laughs> All right. After after I finish this fight. <laughs> I, uh, after I finish this fight, we'll go. We'll go. We'll go check out the, the Oathkeeper skills. This is this is like this is like too tedious to make everybody sit through. It's gonna take me. It's gonna take me like 100 years just to level up in this first area. I just wanted to show everybody that you could play ultimate from level one now. Give it a try. But honestly, Zantai Zantai went weeks off on this. This is not as hard as I thought it would be. Like I can actually stay alive. This is my last self push. I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish this guy. Okay. Uh, come on. And then probably what we'll do is we'll do a little we'll do a little level development stream at the end here. Time's in. 41. Yeah, man, I haven't died yet. I've, I mean, I'm, I'm like level what? I'm about to be level si level six, and I haven't died. This is way too easy. It's way too easy, Zanta. Way too freaking easy. guy just so I can get the hell out of here. Yes, okay. Alright, now food ration. Get some stuff. Can't leave until I get some stuff. Kill these dudes. Alright. Alright, now I did it. There we go. I got to level six in ultimate. I gotta stop freaking doing that. I'm sweating like a mother. Alright. Now now what we're going to do. That's too easy, Zantai. I did official play test too easy. You're going to make it harder. If you want people to suffer on level 1 ultimate, which they probably should. If you're going to go to level 1 ultimate, you should probably suffer. I mean, you should probably hurt real bad. Like in, in your nethers. Like somebody kicked you. <coughs> Mounts for D GD. I mean, that's a huge feature. Give us the beta access. Yeah, right. Uh, there are The play testers are... Playtesting everybody. Yeah, this is the loading screen for Forgotten Gods. If no, if 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 nobody's seen it yet, it's pretty sweet. Kind of shows off um, the tone of the environment for the, for the expansion pack. <laughs> Can we get the background for a wallpaper? That'd be kind of cool. Have we ever done a wallpaper of the starting screen before? I wonder. I wonder if we could like, uh, cause the only the only way this exists is cause it's a level in the game. I wonder if we could like hide the UI and take a screenshot of it on high, at high res. Probably. All right, let's do this. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna um, we're gonna launch. Uh, yes. Launch up Quest World here. And. We'll use we'll use this character. <laughs> Will GD have an open beta? Uh, no, um, no. <laughs> I mean that's not something we're likely to do. Oh, this is the level I was working on. We're not going to look at that right now, though. We're going to go check out a test area that I have set up, um, and let's see if it hopefully it works here. If it doesn't work, I'm going to be super sad. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That didn't work. All right, hold on. 
I gotta check something out here. <clears throat> Question is, why did that not work? Huh? Well, let's let's take a look inside the sausage factory here. I'll share my editor window window with you while I, while I try to figure out what why this level's not loading up. <coughs> All right, let's see if I can get this uh, editor viewable for you. Boom. There we go. Cool. Um, so this is actually kind of a, a bit of a spoiler here. This is uh, this is the level that I was gonna, that we're going to work on a little bit later. But uh, this is a, this is a sort of a tomb area that uh, happens later in the X pack. <coughs> uh, uh, it's going to be some pretty sweet stuff uh, in there. But we'll we'll take a look at that in a minute. First thing we want to look at is I want to look at this little level area over here. Oh, look at this. See this See this thing right up here? That's all of the quests in the expansion pack, but I'm not going to show you that because that would be too many spoilers. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to take a look at this area and, and figure out why the heck it failed to load in. So we will... Um, <coughs> All right, you guys can see my you guys can't see my editor window. Yeah, you can. Okay, cool. Um, um, so I'm just gonna rebuild the pathing on there, and uh, this is like a legit development stream. You guys are just gonna be working with me now. We're gonna hang out and do some work. Does that sound cool? <laughs> I want to rebuild the pathing on this. I did that. I did already save it, and we'll see if we can get it to um, be playable. I don't know why it wasn't playable the first time. <coughs> Hopefully this is the issue. Is the stream's just like a blank screen right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here. Let's <laughs> you can see you can see oh. Here. We'll uh so you don't get the blank screen. Now you can see my pretty face and Chesticles here. <coughs> that guy's got some hair on his chest, I'm telling you. Uh, uh, all right. That should be built now. Let's give it a try again. It's like legit dev stream now. Why am I focusing on that guy's hairy chest? Because it's distracting. It distracts you from how I'm trying to work in the background. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see here. All right. What we want to do is we want to get into my little test level here, my little combat test level, so we can try out Oathkeeper skills. Um, so for those of you that have played Grim Dawn and never seen this stuff, this is the editor that we use to make the levels uh, and um, well, I guess really just make the levels. All the all this quest stuff is done in here in both in here and in, in uh, um, Lua script. Is Kasparov named after the chess champion? That's a good idea. I did not. Uh, I did not name him. <laughs> Potentially, he was. I don't know. <laughs> That's a good question. All right, so let's get our camera cords, and we'll launch up the game again. We'll see if we can get it back in here. Uh, I've got the right cords, don't I? Yeah. Hmm. Let's see. Hopefully, hopefully this isn't busted for some silly reason. Uh, do we have new any, uh, 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 Gaboon Viper says, do you have any info about the new x version you guys have been talked about a while back? Yeah, that, that's still in development. Um, um, that's a long process for a small studio to go through, porting the game to a new console. Um, there are still people working on that. Um, I have played it on the x a number of times. It is playable. It actually plays really great. There's some additional 
control tweaks that we'll make over the ones that we've already added to the existing build, but it's going well. It's just taking time. <coughs> All right. Let's jump back in there and see if we can do this now. When will this be released? Um, the only thing we've said so far is Q1 2019. Uh, let's see here. There we go. <laughs> uh, all right, cool. So my little test level, I got, oh, dang. Looks like I get myself some good stuff and I put it all too close together. <laughs> We're going to have to have to like filter and uh, pick them up by, by manually, I guess. <coughs> uh, <laughs> so you guys just keep an eye on these items. There might be some spoilers here in some of these items that I put down, but... Um, here, what do we do? We're going to level way the hell up. I'm going to be getting level up notifications for the next five minutes. What, what level are we now? We're going to pick Oathkeeper. And we're going to max it. Oh, you guys can't see. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, hold on just a second. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> you missed. You missed out on all the stream, all, all the spoilers. <coughs> all right. There you go. Now you can see. Now you can see. <coughs> Sorry about that. Forgot to trans transition you over there. All right. Cool. I'm gonna max out. I'm gonna max out deeper. We're just gonna start. I gotta, I gotta quit my character though. So we're gonna get, we're gonna get uh, filters back to normal. To start picking up some crazy crap here. All kinds of stuff. All kinds of stuff. I don't even know what I'm picking up. Where's the, where's the armor set? I got an armor set back here, don't I? Oh, I can't even wear it of it. We're gonna. Have to We're gonna make a totally cheated character. This is this is this is the. Ju let's just look at uh, what level am I? Level forty. All right, what level am I now? All right, that should be good. What does this set require? Player level 82? Am I not 82 yet? <coughs> I got close. <laughs> I am going to show you the runes. Uh, uh, we're going to take a look at some of the runes. I don't know if Xantai has shown you off all these runes, but we're going to take a look at them. Um, and it's a huge pain in the neck to pick up all this stuff because I put too much stuff in one small area, but... My inventory can't is carry anymore. Uh, shoot. What's the uh, uh, Zantai? Can you paste me the the item name for for the bag again, so I give myself a bag? I can't remember where it is. Um, we'll put on some sweet stuff here. Give myself a sweet shield. Some boots. I guess it doesn't really matter as long as we have. <coughs> All right. Get rid of this junk here. Put a belt on. The shoulders. Starting to look awesome. What do I need? I need pants. Can I pick up the pants yet? All right. What do we got? We need a sheet. We need a sword. Can I, what? What? Four sixty. What does it need for? Calming spirit. What? Give me a break. What? Really? Doesn't matter. You know. You know what? Doesn't matter. <laughs> We're gonna shoot cheat. There we go. Now we can have <laughs> whatever we want. All right. 
Get ourselves a sword. I don't even know what any of this stuff is. Oh my god. That's better. I just dropped a bunch of crap in here so we would have stuff to try out Oath Keeper. So um, we need a metal. Oh, where's the metal at? I can't even see them in, in here. Too much stuff. Necklace. Doesn't matter what necklace. We need a medal. Where's the medals? Did I not get myself a medal? I might have to drop some medals. All right, filter. Come on, filter. T show me if there's medals in here. Did I get not put medals in here? Yeah, I did. All right, cool. They're right there. Just got to manage to pick one up. <laughs> I can't even freaking find them in here. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> no! Yeah, okay. That'll work. All right, cool. Um, so I, I, I put too much stuff in here. Let's let's take out some My of the runes. We'll, we'll drop all of our crap over here, and we'll grab some of these runes. This is a bit of a mess. I drop all of our stuff. We're gonna take a look at the runes. First, we're gonna take a look at some Oathkeeper stuff, and then we'll try out the runes. Um, but we don't need any of this extra junk. We got we got as much stuff as we need here. To give it a go. All right. All right. Let's check it out. Skills. Oathkeeper skills. Drops runes. Sorry. Uh, okay. <coughs> um, well, that's first. Righteous Fervor we've done. Um, Ages of Menhir. Let's crank Ages of Menhir up and do it. So Ages of Menhir, level one. Sign that sucker in here. Boom. Now, let's get this first mod. You guys probably want, probably want me to take this slow so you can see this, don't you? We're, I'm going all the way through. I'm going, I'm going all the way through all these skills. I, I don't know if Santa has showed you all of them before. Oh, what? What is the, what is the ricochet? What is the max ricochet on this? I had no idea that was that high. <laughs> that says four, but I'm pretty sure that was five. That's definitely five. Is it four additional targets? <laughs> oh, it's actually kind of awesome to watch this just take a random path through everybody. That's definitely five. Wait, wait a second here. Yeah, that's definitely five. So it's four plus one. So it's it's plus four. I didn't know that. I, didn't, I had no idea that it went that high. That's pretty awesome. So what else we got for, for Agents of Men here? Ages of Thorns, infused with the Great Guardian's suffering, the Ages of Menary becomes extension of Dreeg's will and <coughs> and of his thorns, endlessly dripping with acid blood. Acid blood. Dang. Okay, let's do it. Oh. 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 That's, not gonna, that's kind of pointless on these guys because they're all going to die in one... <laughs> they're all going to die in one hit anyway, but... All right, what do we got next for Ages of Men here? Reprisal. Tireless training with the Ages of Men here turns it into the vehicle of your vengeance, unhindered by your physical limitations. Retaliation, retaliation damage added to attack. What's up, retaliation builds? Burn damage over three seconds. Chance of 100% uh, uh, <laughs> skill cooldown reduction. So that, so like 8%, 12, 14, 14, 15, 16, 17... So 21% chance of 100% cool, uh, skill cooldown reduction. So it's like I can cast it immediately again. In fact, it just happened there. Uh, did it happen again? Sorry, I hit my skill window. It did. Got my hands on the wrong buttons here. Ever thought of removing, adding remove a point on a skill with right click? No. <laughs> Xantai is over. Oh, this is OP. Nerf it. <laughs> I love when it, re when it quick refreshes. That's awesome. I didn't make enough. I didn't make enough bad guys for us to kill.
I'm trying to catch it when it when it actually kicks that off. Oh, it didn't. I want to throw it twice back to back. Come on. 21% chance. It's going to do it this time. Nope. Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, audio sauce lot. These only have one HP because they're, they're just test dummies. Uh, uh, so, let's see what we got. Vyre's Might. First recorded in the Arkovian text when Angvold, the stalwart <coughs> of the Temple of Vyre, selflessly charged through the entire legion of enemy forces, scattering their ranks and exposing them to onslaught of arrows, all without taking a scratch. Vyre's Might has since become a prime display of an Oathkeeper's strength, both, phys both physical and spiritual, in the face of seemingly impossible odds. When used with a shield, the shield's damage is added. Right, I'm going to try this out. Line ourselves up for one of the rows here. <laughs> this makes Soldier look sad, doesn't it? This is a sad Soldier. Oh! I didn't know it would do that. That was kind of cool. Can I target ground? No, I can't. How did it do that? Did it just do that by, by, by chance? It hit two rows of guys. I was surprised it would do that. Nice! <laughs> makes Demolitionist look sad? Why does it make Demo look sad? You mean Soldier, right? Nice. Cool. All right. Mods. Volcanic Might. When struck with an Oathkeeper's shield, the burning vengeance of Vyre's Might knocks less resolute foes off their feet. Oh, this is not going to do anything on these guys, I don't think. Because it's just going to murder all of them anyway. <laughs> I should have I dropped in some dudes that had, less, had higher HP. <laughs> <laughs> Burns, he says, do you feel like, do you feel that playing video games can make your character kind of like a serial killer? Legalized, of course, but still, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what you mean, but, I mean, I guess, as if you, when you play a game, you're killing, you're killing a, lot, a bunch of stuff. All right, let's go, let's see, let's see where we go. Volcanic Stride, with fire in your heart and a prayer to fire on your lips, your valiant charge levels, leaves behind volcanic flames to incinerate your foes. Cranking this to max. Going all the way. Oh yeah. This is awesome. <laughs> you are Diablo now? Come on. Alright, um uh alright, what's the last one? Tectonic shift. You charge forth with might of the earth, traveling further and influencing even greater la <coughs> lasting harm. Inflicting even greater lasting harm. Pardon me. All right. Oh, dang. So it's like f four full grid spaces now. Consecrated path. Awesome. Can't do that yet. All right. What do we got? What have we got? What else have we got? Um, safeguard in the hands of a trained Oathkeeper. A shield is not just an unbreakable defense, but also a formidable weapon. Right. We got to get all these naturally. Smite, a precise strike fueled by Oathkeeper's righteous. Fury leaves enemies staggered and broken. With sufficient practice, this technique can even be extended to a shield. Can activate with all default weapon attacks. When used with a melee weapon and a shield, will also strike with the shield. It's pretty sweet. Crank that up. We'll get uh, Righteous Fervor, which is sort of like our default weapon attack. Oathkeepers charge into battle with prayers at their, on their lips and righteousness in their hearts. 
When used as your default weapon attack, Righteous Fervor increases the intensity of your attacks with every strike building up. This is a charged attack, basically. Consecration. <coughs> your very essence becomes consecrated in the celestial grace, in celestial grace, filling you with unshakable determination. Love it. Going all the way. Retribution. Your, concentra uh, your concentration is unflinching. Every blow dealt to you returned a thousandfold. Another retaliation skill. I'm almost out of skill points. Don't worry, man. I'll get more skill points. It doesn't matter. <laughs> what was the transmitter? Oh, we didn't take a look at the transmitter. I kind of skipped by it. Hold on. Dreeg's reproach. Your prayers become twisted and dark. Your fervor driven to the maddening whispers of Dreeg. Driven by the maddening whispers of Dreeg. Not very, I'm not reading very well today. It's kind of ticking me off. Let's check it out. Most of these, most of these uh, high uh, mods of these skills are kind of ineffective against these single. <laughs> oh god, that is so awesome! I love that one. All right, what else do we have? <coughs> what have we not tried? Judgment. Oath Keepers are the, uh, the zealous enforcers of celestial judgment. By their will, heathenist foes are drawn in so that their final judgment may be, may be rendered. Okay, ready for this? I don't know if, if, if anybody's seen this one yet. Let's go get a, a good group of guys here. Sorry, just click back on the stream window. Zantai's yelling something at me. All right, there's a new one. Let's see if we position ourselves in the middle here. Oh, this is going to work. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, it's not going to work on these guys <laughs> because, because it's too awesome. Oh, we might have to. Uh, Zentai, do you have any of these, of these uh, guys that are invincible uh, or have higher health? Because uh, we're gonna need we're gonna need some dudes. I'm gonna have to go out. I'm gonna have to go out and put some dudes in this level that aren't just gonna get murdered by this. You've got it. I know you. I know you have some of these dudes. Uh, I'm gonna go look in the in the editor real quick. Can you guys still see my editor if I bring it open? Let's see here. Uh, let's look at the stream. No, you can't. I guess that's for the best. Let's go see if we can find some dudes that are. Uh, actually, you know what? I'll I'll show you the editor. That's fine. Um, test dummy. Zantai, do you have one of these dudes that Let's spawn some regular dudes? <coughs> so, uh, just give me a second here. See if we can find some enemies that this is actually effective on. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty awesome, though. <laughs> That's pretty awesome using it against these dudes. <laughs> uh, yep, no doubt. I'm gonna drop in some. Uh, we're gonna relaunch this level, and I'm gonna drop in some some dudes for us to use. Uh, All right, I updated the level with some dudes in it, but we'll see if we can just spawn some in there. Is there a C? 
see what we got. Work on those guys either. <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> Guys, that were too hard. <laughs> Mur murdered. <laughs> They're probably still there too. <coughs> Let's uh Oh, so I still. <laughs> what the hell? <clears throat> That's unexpected. Must be spawning. I must be like still on diff my difficulty mode. Must still be ultimate or something. It's not though. It says it's normal. I don't really know why it's doing that. That's weird. Let's go back there. <laughs> oh! Just gonna get murdered over and over again. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna spawn some zombies. I thought that I thought that was a good idea. That was a bad idea. <clears throat> Let's clear those guys out. We'll spawn some zombies in there. Yeah, this is what happens when your equipment is is or your character. We cheat a level 100 character. <coughs> Yeah, typical, right? Typical Grava. All right. Get something else in here. Res these guys are going to murder me because of my resistance, I bet. More zombies. There we go. Should murder me right away. Murdered. I'm losing track of what we're doing here. <laughs> when are we going to add Rubber Ducky one-handed weapon? <laughs> Grab a thool. Uh, yeah, no. All right. Back to skills. Where are we at? We've got... We just tried... Judgment. Judgment maxed out. What do we got for modifiers? Judgment. Judge, judged foes find their wills broken. Their fates already sealed. All right, next one. Heart of Wrath. Rendering judgment fills your heart with fiery purpose, which burns nearby foes. All right, yep. Let's do it.
You really want to see some runes, huh? Let's finish out the skills. We're almost there. We got time. We got time. We'll check out some runes. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. I got some runes right in here. We'll check out some of the other ones, too. That skill is ridiculous. <laughs> the area of that is insane. <coughs> Last modifier does not lower the cooldown on that one, I don't think. Last one, Divine Mandate. <coughs> Whether rising the shield in the name of Imperium himself or ser uh, serving under the banners of a member of his celestial court, oath keepers that have risen in the ranks are considered to be an extension of the Divine Will and Heralds of Celestial Retribution. This ability must be toggled to maintain its effect. Exclusive skill, obviously. This is one that I will not be picking because it needs to be toggled. <laughs> Love that. Love it. Last button, okay. You ready? Presence of virtue. Oath keepers are uh, paragons of virtue and faith. <coughs> Properties they inspire within nearby allies. Those that stand beside them cannot help but be inspired <coughs> into feats of valor. All right. Oh my gosh, it makes me mad that this thing can't go faster, but we've done this a million times. So we're going to have to do it. One by one. <laughs> Shit. I wasn't paying attention. I spawned the freaking dudes, too. We'll get back there. Take your time, game. Load, load, load. <coughs> All right. What do we got now? Got more skill points. That's not enough. This dude's still here. Dude, get smoked. There we go. Where are we at? We need more skill points. How many do we need? Like 100? All right. This is actually a good, a good pet one, right? But pets, what's the mod for this one? Haven. The Oathkeeper's presence becomes a haven on the battlefield, offering solace from relentless blows. Nice. Rebuke. The hearts of the Oath Keeper and their allies are stoked with the righteous fury. Stoked! <laughs> Freaking stoked! Stoke your allies with this one. All right, last one. Resilience. For an Oath Keeper, resolute, resolute faith is the absolute defense. As life fades, so the spirit rises to oppose their heart. <coughs> Activates when health drops below 66%. Ascension. Through deep contemplation and resolute faith, an Oathkeeper may experience, even briefly, a fragment of their deity's presence within them. This guiding light offers solace in trying times, a taste of God's true might. Jeez, man. More skill points. Must have more skill points. Clarity of purpose. Driven to destroy their foes without hesitation, an Oathkeeper becomes the embodiment of celestial fur fury. Furry. Celestial furry. <laughs> More skill points. All right. Let's try that one out, actually. We didn't try that out. All right. Skill. 
shattering smash. Such is an Oathkeeper's prowess with a shield that the force of the blow resonates through the earth and sends an additional shockwave through your initial target. This is a shield combat technique that activates off default weapon attacks. Requires a melee weapon and a shield. Let's see if we can get it to activate here. There you go. Last one. Uh, I guess there's two. Okay, we're going to look at this one first. Path of the Three. Not all Oath Keepers swear fealty to the deities blessing the Aurelian Empire. Some, of the, uh, some offer themselves before the three witch gods in the, hope in the hopes of harnessing even a fraction of their terrible powers. These Oath Keepers consider themselves to be upon the true path, not deceived by empty promises of light that has forsaken humanity. This ability must be toggled to maintain effect. Exclusive skill. We know, we know all that. Look at what we got when it's maxed out. Poison damage, acid damage. Holy shit. There you go. It's a good one to use when you're using the shield <coughs> with the Dreeg's poison on it. All right, last one. Save, save, I saved my favorite for the last. I have reckoning. When the first oath, when the first oath keepers looked upon the celestial veil and witnessed the astounding power of Imperion's light, they sought to replicate its brilliance and might. This one's self-explanatory. I'm not even going to read it. We're just going to do it. Win it to win it. <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. I have a feeling that some of these some of these are gonna spawn some new speedrun spats. <laughs> Spin to win! Alright, cool. Next. Soul fire. Through the righteous fire burning within the Oath Keeper's soul, the light becomes as if physical force, spiraling outward and piercing through onward, uh, unwary foes. Pardon me. During the Eye of Reckoning. Max it out. We don't have enough points. More points. All right. Here we go. killer out of mana of course awesome <laughs> yes imagine when you had to be stationary for channel skills not anymore not anymore out of spirit I'm empty no more mana left Oh, not mana, sorry. Spin me right around. That's what I should be playing in the background while this is, while this is going. Oh, Zantai's sending me messages. What's his deal? All right, we got to try this. We got to try this because we, 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 on this one ability, we, we sort of missed the main effect of it because I was spawning dudes that, that had a bug that Zantai already fixed. So, um,. Before we take a look at runes, we're going to do this one last thing because the coolest part of the skill, we, we kind of missed out on it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that worked on the ones that it didn't outright murder. Let's just spawn a thousand of them and see what happens. <laughs> I'm laughing to myself right now. I don't even care. I don't even care what you guys think. That was awesome. 
All right, we're, we're doing this again. How many of these guys can I spawn before they attack me? That's the question. Okay, ready? <laughs> so, so actually, the other character, the other zombie character that I spawned, had a had a bug uh, um, that was preventing his physics from being moved around. But Zentai, I assume, has now fixed that. But this zombie character doesn't. So. <laughs> the best part about this is you can kind of chain it, chain it with, you can chain it with shield bash, you can chain it with the shield charge that you've got on this guy. Um, you can chain it with a bunch of other stuff. You can chain it with spin it to win it. I mean, spin to win is, is uh, okay, let's see if we can do this here. We don't kill them out right. <laughs> I love it. I mean, obviously, you're not going to just murder everything outright like that. But killing zombies is fun. Summon Guardian of Empyrean. Call forth a loyal servant of Empyrean to cleave through your foes and render celestial judgment. Let's check it out. Come on down here. Murder these dudes. Did not miss Presence of Virtue. I don't think I, I don't think I missed any of the other ones. Um, tainted by the Gaze of Drig. That's pretty awesome. We need more skill points though. Hopefully I won't accidentally spawn anything that's gonna murder me this time. All right, last one. Celestial Presence. The Guardian's very presence sears the souls of your uh, heretical foes. Guardian's still up. Nice. A little AoE for the Guardians. Could you be against all, uh, uh, all three upcoming factions? No, you can't. Um, and in fact, uh, a, a big part of the upcoming X, uh, X pack is unlike previous faction alignments, aligning with one does not exclude you from aligning with another. Um, and if you're playing together with somebody who's aligned with the other one, doesn't exclude either of you from doing both quest lines. Um, so that's actually, that's actually, I guess this is actually a bit of a spoiler, but there, there's quest lines for each of the factions, and you, they, they're not exclusive. Um, you can do all of them if, uh, if you have people to do them with. <coughs> all right, let's look at some runes before we, get, before we go here. Um, so, if, so people who don't know, um, um, the X-Pack has added a bunch of movement skills. We already looked at those, the uh, spinning attack, the charge um, is a new type of movement skill, I think, uh, as well. Um, and uh, I think that that's it for the default for the movement skills that are actually in the uh, some of the other skills like the like the area effect that pulls guys in I think has a similar function but we're gonna check we're gonna ch <coughs> check out some of these runes so the, in the X pack you can add a rune to your metal um, and unlock a movement ability uh, so for, for those of you who hadn't done that before. So I'll take a look at some of these. <coughs> a common symbol of power were used by the witch gods. Applied to metals. Cold of Soleil, magic argument. Granted skills, disengage. Okay, this is kind of a cool one. I don't think we've looked at this one before. You know what? I'm gonna need a bunch more metals because this is gonna, I don't wanna have to go. Need a metals filter. Where's my metals at? Pick up a hundred of 
bad. All right, we got a bunch now. So we'll equip this first one. Is that the one we're just looking at? Rush. Disengage. So this one actually has a mod on it, I think, too, uh, an actual... So the basic versions of these skills uh, um, just have the movement skill, um, and then as you get higher level versions of them, they, they actually uh, um, give you abilities. So this is a green one, so it's leaving behind a <coughs> blinding flash. So it's like flashbang, combines a flashbang, basically. So it's just like the opposite of a uh, jumping attack. Buy when it's done. Badass. Let's peek another one before it, before Zantai tells me I can't. We're gonna peek some more. Yes, this plus dual pistols would be. I mean, there's a hundred different things to use this. Way. Dude, get the hell. <laughs> this is my, my summon is murdering everybody. <laughs> so that's pretty awesome. So if you pick a target, um, he he leaps away from the target, uh, flash bangs him. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, uh, I don't like this one as well as some of the other ones for using tactically. You know me, because I like to run in circles and, and avoid getting attacked. So I like the ones that allow me to do that better. Like oh, Rush is a good one. I think Rush is basically the same as the skill that's on the... Um, yeah, so this is a... Um, the cool thing about Rush, I think, is you can target ground. Yeah. So, so Rush is, is basically like, uh, it passes through enemies, I think, as well. <coughs> so it's sort of like the skill that the, that the Oath Keeper already has. Um, um, slightly different. Yes, you can override the augment on your metal. Can you do that? No, I've never tried it. I assume you probably can. Leap! This is the opposite of the one we tried already. So I think the, the the future versions of this, higher level versions of this, have more powerful attack and potentially also range. We can ask Xantai for that one too, but I'm pretty sure we can also increase range up to a certain point. Um, but this is my favorite one, because this one you can use tactically to, because um, it can target ground. You don't have to target an enemy, you can use it to escape, which is nice. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is basically like leap and slam. Um, do I have any runes that he that didn't show you yet? Try it. So here's a, here's, a, here's a higher level rune. Ramming speed. <coughs> Try that one. What's what we got here? What else do we have? Wendigo Rush? What? I'm showing off stuff that Xantai's going to get mad at me for now. <laughs> the time we got left. Oh, it's 3.33. Zan Xantai, are there any of these runes that you want me to show or that I should show? <laughs> What do you think? Any more runes that we should check out before we go? Should we check out Rendi Wendigo Rush? <laughs> All right, we'll take a, we'll take a look at Wendigo Rush. I'm not sure what it's going to do though. Claw through your foes towards the targeted destination, leaving all your path bleeding and broken. When used with a shield, the shield's damage is added. I mean, it's just going to murder all these guys. Maybe we'll have to spawn some guys to. Uh, <laughs> I 
All right. We're pretty much out of time. If you guys have some more questions for Zantai, let me know. Uh, uh, if you want to see anything else before before we go, let me know. This is sort of like the the summary of all the things that Zantai has showed for the Oathkeeper as of yet. Um, and a little peek at some of the runes. Um, show them a teleport rune. Oh, okay. All right. I have one more thing to show you before we go then. Let me get back here. Do you have any idea which rune it is? Shadowy Assassin, maybe? Presence of Virtue. All right, we'll check out Presence of Virtue, too. All right, let's see what we got for runes now. Grab a couple more. Corvin Swiftness. Try that out. This is the this is like the the fire version of the of this jump slam. You guys have already seen this one. Let's get. I like a legitimate teleport. <laughs> oh, the range on it is crazy, too. This is the first legit teleport that's been in Grim Dawn. Um, not like a, not a skill that just moves the character rapidly. Engineers for that one. <coughs> Old news. No, this is not. What do you? Is there a different one, Zantai? Is there a different one that you want to see? This one is basically just Shadow Strike, but I think the tech works differently for this. I'll ask. I'll ask Zantai for another one. Zantai says Dreeg's Vector. Here we go. Check it out. A formidable, formidable, masterful Dreeg's Vector. Spontaneously transport yourself towards a target destination, spreading Dreeg's vile poison to nearby foes. All right, that's a good one. Kill everybody. I didn't. Okay, here we go. There you go. <laughs> there, there's your legit teleport. <laughs> I think the tag for the other one actually is, is different too, but I was mistaken. This is the teleport one. We've actually murdered all these guys so far. There we go. Nice. This one has like poison damage. It's awesome. Is there any way to make these cooldowns shorter? That's a good question. Zantai, is there any way to make these cooldowns shorter? No, Zantai says no. Um, how about better runes that have shorter cooldowns? Is that a thing? <laughs> GD craving is flaring up. That's what I like to hear. That's what I'm talking about. These new skills are going to change the game a lot. 
Uh, being able to move, being able to use movement, movement as a uh, uh, tactic in combat now is going to be pretty awesome. I dare say that, that it, it's right up my alley. Uh, Zentai, did you say there's another one that you wanted to show off? Oh, we got one more rune we're going to show off before we go. One more rune. We didn't get to... Uh, There we go. All right, last one. Get all your questions in See, for Zantai before we get before we get out of here. But uh, we're gonna try the Burning Rift. I can actually find some dudes down here. So this is like a teleport with a slightly different effect, essentially. Beautiful. These teleports are awesome. Not blocked by enemies. Um, I think you can teleport anywhere you can path to, too. So can you teleport sort of through dungeon? I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I'm pretty sure you can teleport to where you can path to. Um, so that's going to be huge for speedrunners. I can't wait to see what the freaking speedrun time is when these when these skills are like cutting down on speedrun time. <laughs> Regular components with movement augments can be used to get it in one metal. No love for lightning. I'm sure there's a lightning one. <laughs> yes, if you guys want to do another Nemesis versus Nemesis Arena after GDX2 is released, then, uh, after the second X-Pack is released, Forgotten Gods is released, sorry, we call it all kinds of different things, then, <laughs> then yeah, we'll do that. We'll do another Nemesis Arena. <laughs> yes, this is a small selection of runes. We've only taken a peek of, uh, at some of them. Um, my nose bleeding. The lamp makes it look like I've got blood on my face. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, guys. Yeah, so this is a, so the stuff we looked at today was ult the ultimate mode from level one. <laughs> all of the Oathkeeper skills. So if anybody's catching the stream at the end, go back when the video uploads and rewind. You can check out all the Oathkeeper skills. Um, we took a look at all the, uh, not all the runes, a, a, a selection of some of the runes which unlock uh, movement abilities when assigned to a metal. Um, and then some of those higher level ones that we just looked at that have a movement ability and an AOE or, or, or uh, an attack that are associated with them. <laughs> so if you have any questions, hit up Zantai real quick or hit up me if you want to see one more thing. There was, one, there was something in here that you guys said you wanted to see. Um, was there another skill in here that you wanted to see? Presence of Virtue? Was that, we, we took a look at Presence of Virtue already, right? Um, this, is for you, this is for you pet guys, basically. Oh, I got a little halo. <laughs> Judgment stats. There you go. That's maxed out, though, and beyond maxed out. <laughs> toggle presence of virtue and get back to work. <laughs> I already toggled presence of virtue. It's on. All right. Thank you guys for coming to hang out. That was a little bit long of a longer stream. We've got a bunch of spoilers in here. Um, I'm sure people will clip stats for the skills that I checked out. Um, I probably should have gone a little bit slower through them so you can see, the, see how they upgrade. But uh, um, I'm sure that we'll be screenshots of that and, and people uploading <laughs> build theory ASAP on, on the forum. So if you don't, uh, 
If you don't go to the forums, hit up the forums at grimdawn uh, slash uh, grimdawn dot com slash forums. Um, we're trying to do streams here. We'll, we'll maybe try to pick up doing a stream, uh, our stream every couple of weeks again, and then when we get closer to release, like really close to release, we'll do it every week like we did in the past, uh, maybe a couple of times a week. But thank you all for joining us. There was a whole crap load of you here today, so I really appreciate it. Um, we'll do another stream maybe next week, maybe the following week, um, but we'll post it on the forums and on Facebook, so keep an eye out there. Have a good one, guys. I'm going to play another song for you here on the way out. Get something good, though.